up guys so first day back after a long weekend we've got train climate changer here and I've got an external interlock that has me locked out no blower operation uh, currently not getting a run signal from the building automation I have you see my red light there I've got an alarm on that um, at the building automation I'm showing a low limit fault so I think that is my culprit of the fan not running at least that's my theory at this point um, I think that's a uh, it's a water coil and that copper tubing goes off there is I'm guessing that's a freeze stat over there with not real good access I don't like how they put those in there because hell I gotta get this panel off that's my only access and then the freaking controls right up in here so um, let me get this panel off and dig into it and see what we can find so after some digging, um, I verified my uh, free stat is closed, but what we had going on, uh, not everything reset. If you notice in the original video, a 1K5 relay light was on, so it was energized. Right now my 1K3 is energized for the blower operation. So. What I found, if we look at our fire diagram here, it took some searching to find this, but um, 1K5 is low limit lockout relay. And if you see this, 2S6 is the reset for it. So the lockout relay here, this is my reset, the 2K6, or 2S6. So I had to reset this button to get it to run. This is my pressure transducer reading duct static pressure. This is a VAV system. Um, there is no heat on this unit. Uh, that water coil we looked at earlier was uh, it's cooling only. So VAVs all have electric heat to maintain temperature in a space. And this thing just provides uh, air for it. We do have an economizer that's closed. Um, actually, the economizer's been disabled at some point. So I'm not sure what happened, but we had some cold nights uh, over the holiday. And at some point, we tripped that low limit uh, for the air temperature and locked everything out. So... We're going to watch this guy operate for a little while and see if we can't find um, anything wrong. But I got it reset and it's been running for a little while now. So um, all of our cooling water controls are in here. See the actuator? They like to shove everything into a nice small space. So good luck getting in there to get to anything. But um, we're not doing any kind of cooling right now. But... Um, so that's what I found kind of interesting. Uh, I did not know if these had a reset like that, but that's where my low limit alarm on the BAS was coming from. So we're going to keep an eye on it and go check our space temperatures and uh, go from there. So here we are at the BAS. You can see uh, that's number seven. That's the one I'm working on. So duct static pressure I'm showing a... Uh, discharge air temperature of 53 right now so um, mixed air temperature local says 48.5 space temperatures 69.6 discharge air 53.4 so what I'm gonna do next is just verify all of these temperatures mixed air and discharge air and see if we don't have a sensor out of calibration or something um, that may be what happened at this point. 
because that mixed air and supplier is pretty low. I mean, we're just circulating heat from the space. There's no heat on this unit, but with 69, 70 degrees coming in from the space, I would think this would be a little higher. So let's verify everything and then uh, go from there. So currently verifying our temperatures. They look pretty close to what I was reading. About 54, 55 uh, return air, 49 supplier. I think I was showing 48 down below. So um, I'm gonna have to dig in and see why my return air and supplier is so cold. I don't know why, but um, you can see. Something's disconnected or not connected right down in there. So let's keep on digging and see what we find. Um, see if the temperatures get any better after it runs for a little bit. Like I said, no heat on this thing, so it kind of is what it is at this point. But I've got another VAV over there. It's kind of the same setup, and I'm getting about 65 degree supplier and. Um, 60 something on the return so we're gonna keep investigating see what we can find oh so here we are in a tight space co2 sensor actuator and an outside air damper that the uh it's supposed to be closed right now the linkage back there that I can't get to it needs to be adjusted I have a feeling this has been open for a long time Let's see if I can get to that thing and what I can do oh it's like Pandora's box when you start getting into this stuff so this hood here is what I was looking up at and that damper cracked open slightly um, my other VAV system over there doesn't have one. I don't know why we're not just using the damn economizer to do that. I don't know why I've got actuators in the ceiling. I've got two other air handlers here big that have exhaust fans tied into them to maintain the uh, building pressure. So I'm going to go crawl into a little bitty space and see if I can get the damn actuator linkage adjusted because it looks like it's supposed to be closed it's just cracked open a little bit it's probably been like that forever um and then with that extremely cold night we had um drawing that little bit of air in we probably did hit our low limit so uh things been running normally besides the low temperatures um, i haven't locked out or anything else so uh, i think that's gonna be my issue let me get down there i'm not gonna get much video on that but Let's see if we can get these temperatures looking a little better. Had about enough of this thing, but got our damper closed. Uh, we just adjusted the linkage a little bit, so let's go check our temperatures now and see what they look like. All right, so we're looking a whole lot better now. 63, 64 degree supplier, so. Um, just uh, got to look at everything, guys. It wasn't fun, but uh, I could have easily reset that and called it good. This thing probably would have tripped out overnight again as soon as we got that cold weather. Uh, so thanks for watching. I've had about enough of this thing, so I'm going to wrap my stuff up and write everything up. Get the hell out of here. So y'all have a happy new year, and we'll see y'all on the next one.